Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then uh, yesterday, I have forgotten to uh, demonstrate the smart forms to be worked. So let me have a look at it now. <clears throat> so if you go there, and then uh, some of you are asking one question about uh, how you will now say he is a SSP requester. Actually. So SSP requesters uh, will be basically what will be having only one role, that is a procurement requester along with the employee role. So if you give only this role, if you click on the procurement, you will now find he will be able to raise a requisition, is a SSP requisition, and then he will now be able to receive a SSP. So if you have only these two rules, it automatically means that he is a what is called a SSP requester. And then apart from that, if you go to the purchasing requisition, <clears throat> if you go to the purchasing requisition there, if you go and then look at the preferences, he will not have the destination type at all. If you go to the more task and then click on the update requisition preferences, <clears throat> there will not be any destination type coming in the picture. <clears throat> so the destination type will be either inventory or expense only for the people who are having advanced procurement request. So if you have an advanced procurement request, then that will come. Otherwise, it will not come. It will not say it has to be delivered to this location. Actually, <clears throat> That is the only thing it will be coming. And then the address is also coming over here. <clears throat> so the advanced procurement request role will now give you the destination type of inventory as well as expense. Otherwise, he cannot do anything at all. So that is why he cannot go into that. Or the requisition form at all. He cannot manually integrate. So you only have to shop on the place. Now we have to shop. <clears throat> so we are now come to this area. This is the main area. <clears throat> so this is the place where he is now going to create a requisition actually. So he normally shop by category or otherwise he will be having the recent purchases are not shown over here. Right? These are two items which have been recently purchased. And then there's a top category. And then the recent forms, the request forms, you are now in the AMC contract. This is the information and tips. And then you are able to see even the, what's called, the three, uh, what's called, um, recently viewed also is not showing. Recently viewed, and the top categories are also shown. So this is how uh, the thing is, the, the, the what's called, is the home page will look like. And then this also can be, what I was customized with a view more and all. With a view more and all, it can be. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so click on that. And then whatever way you want to customize, you can even change the views. <clears throat> and then one guy was asking that, uh, what happens, if I am going to give master all, fine, I will not go to the other one now, fine. I will not go to this place. Fine, click on that. Here, I will go to the procurement. He is a cat admin now. So if you go to the catalog, <clears throat> and then I directly go to the content zone. I go to the catalog. And then here, I go there, click on it. Let us now go to the content zone. No? Manage content zone is the one. I'm going to go there. So in the content zone, fine. it is basically additive as well as restrictive. Fine. So I will not use this now. Fine. Desktop, this is the one for the EMP2 actually. Fine, click on it. We have got all. Fine. We are going to buy all. Fine, we have got only three items and so it's now coming. So it's okay. Not this place actually. I will not go to the content zone. Not the what happens. The content zone. will not go to the catalog. Actually. I will not go to the catalog. I'm going to show it to you. So catalog is basically also known as a catalog content management. So go to the manage catalogs. So here it is basically catalog content management. Actually. How you're going to manage the content of catalog actually. So I will not say whatever desktop, <coughs> laptop, and this is the one. <coughs> I will not choose it. So here, if you put a tick mark on include all master items, now this this catalog will contain all the items. Maybe I don't say 100,000 items are there. All the 100,000 items will be included actually. If you put it in so this is having no meaning at all. These agreements, the categories, everything will have no meaning if you put a tick mark over here. They will all are bypassed actually. They're not going to supersede everything and then it will now include all the items. So in this case, the cat admins work is very, very less. So there is no need for him to create a catalog category hierarchy at all if everything is enabled. So what you will do is you will not simply create a one, ca one category, one browsing category and then one item category and then leave it as such. You go to the manager category, catalog category. So catalog category hierarchy is only to restrict the people to access only up to certain levels. Actually. This will be there. So here there is no uh, necessity at all for you. If uh, you are putting include all items, include all master items. So that way it works. <clears throat> now we will not go there. So this one here, what I am going to do is we will not stop for the category, right? for the smart forms. So click on it. So I will not click on the complex fine. Right? The request form is a smart form actually. Right? You click on it. So now uh, the form is made ready and then he is going to modify if required. Right? If, he, if he requires what happens, uh, he will not even modify the form actually. The form will open up. And then he is not going to shop on the form actually. He can shop on any of the top categories or uh, there is what happens. He can even go for the recently purchased ones and then he can even make a repeat purchase order actually. So and he can also have his own shopping list apart from the public shopping list. The public shopping list is uh, basically one of the examples of what new hire shopping list in which whenever a new employee is coming, he can buy laptop, he can buy suitcase, he can buy tie, shoes, etc, etc. So they will all be put on the public shopping list and then will be given access to them. 
and then on the procurement cat catalog is a is a procurement catalog and then if you give what happens access to all procurement users then everybody can access it so the aims is coming fine item description i'll now say modify mm -hmm. modify there's no modified actually the amount is coming from that so uh, negotiation required is not required but he has already what happens is negotiated actually the tick mark is not coming he has already negotiated actually i don't know why the tick mark is not coming no, sir. the negotiated tick mark has to come now and we'll not go there and then see in this place now and click on it we'll not go there tick mark you will not go and then open up the smart forms now manage smart forms <clears throat> i'm in the cat admins login now go to this place yes zero on amc contract so here i already yeah mm. so go there here we already said it is negotiated actually so you put the negotiated one it is a touchless buying actually. it is basically a touchless buying so as and when the pr gets approved it will be automatically getting converted to pr so it is a touchless buying it is already on now so in this place it is not showing me i don't know why so the negotiated tick mark is not coming it may be somewhere else or i don't know where exactly and then he has made attachment also a test doc is also attached in this moment an attachment is also there so we'll now see whether the test doc is getting uh, what happens attached in the pu also the two supplier actually so everything is there and then uh, he has now given uh, it needs what we are now given additional information also fine so the additional information is also provided so we have attached this uh, what's called the template to this one now fine normally you'll be having a different template now fine so you'll be having a different columns a different for the amc contract what are the things to be done fine everything will be explained on this column fine. So I given a name as well as address. Fine, this is also attached actually. So it's all there. Fine. So it's all coming automatically on this time. If you want, you can modify it. Otherwise, you will not add to shopping cart list. No, fine. Add, add to cart. Not a shopping list. Fine, you will not add to cart. There's no description. There's no modify. Fine, you can add to add to cart. So we'll now see whether uh, it gets auto converted into PO or not because negotiated actually the price is not okay. Before doing it, what happens? Uh, you have to put the supplier also. Fine, supplier is already there. So supplier is required for your uh, uh, automation actually. And then uh, we have already provided the supplier on the uh, what happens on the uh, skeleton form itself now right? <clears throat> when you're defining it. So it will so now get added to the shopping cart and then we will now shop. <clears throat> so once when you go to the review, fine, it is added to cart. Fine, click on it. I will now click on the review now. <clears throat> it is a smart form actually. Smart form is basically a non catalog request, which is also known as a non catalog request. Fine, click on review now. Fine, I'll review it now. It is basically a service actually. <clears throat> so one two three four is the amount now. So click on that, and then we will now what happens? Go for approval actually. Fine. Click on the manage approval. Fine. Everything is coming here. Fine. So all this thing is fine. Everything is there, uh, and then we have an attachment also is coming up from this place. Attachment is there. Fine. It's coming, and then this is the account. The charge account is coming. So you can now see that the charge account has been specified over here. Go that one. So we have specified the charge account. This is the charge account. So 10, 101, employees expense account is this, and then that is now become a charge account. 101, 10, 608, 0, fine. This is what is, this is now coming over here. So the employees expense account automatically becomes a charge account, fine, we charge against this. And then we have seen about how to supersede with the, what happens with your, uh, another, uh, what happens in the, the preferences, we can even supersede, fine. we can do it. And you can even very well modify it also, because it's all about expense purchases, and so you can very well modify it. I will now click on the manage approvals, and then have a look at it. But who is going to approve? Fine, it must be what happens automatic. Otherwise, we have to go and then change it. Fine. So if it is not automatic, let us not make a change of it. Mm -hmm. And then since uh, uh, then it is already the prices are negotiated actually. The amount is negotiated, so uh, uh, it has to get auto converted. It has to work as a touchless buying. Mm -hmm. So the only prerequisite is what for the touchless buying? If you go on and see this place now, fine. The touchless buying is what? If you go to uh, cancel, and then if you go to the configure procurement business function. To go there. So go to the setup and maintenance. And then look at the configure procurement business function. So it's not there, fine. So it needs what happens here. One more. If you go to the configure procurement business function, click on it. So click on search now, fine. You go to the configure procurement business function. So here the buyer must be present. So a buyer has to be on the item or otherwise on the it's called on the uh, buyer assignment rules or otherwise on this place fine. one of the places the buyer is required so if you have specified the buyer from this either on the item the buyer is required or on the manage buyer assignments you have to personal buyer or otherwise in this place the buyer is required. if it is there then it will now coolly get converted into what happens with your existing one so now this is okay automation is okay but here we are having a problem on the manager position fine manage percentage fine i will now say purchase percentage requisition percentage fine and you go to this place manage requisition of those manage percentage Rec percentage. 
ये पी पी परसेंटेज परसेंटेज पी पी परसेंटेज मैनेजर एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड्स लॉन्ग गोज एक्ट ऑन इट सो दिस इज द वन सीरियल वन फाइंड ऑफ दैट सो दिस इज सिलेक्टेड फाइंड गो टू द एडिट रूल्स एंड देन सी व्हाट इज द मिस्टेक इट हैज बीन मेड नाउ एंड लॉन्ग गोज एक्ट uh this is oh god somebody has put it when i have made on all fine somebody has made a change on this one so everybody is changing it actually so i will not say one thing i will not create one all now so click on plus one auto i will not create so why they are modifying the auto i don't understand and rule always apply to the account they should have left it as they have modified the auto was put an action because that is not applicable and so it is not coming so make it as automatic and then click on again okay, so that one is now when the bu is equal to so and so then only the rule will apply and this will apply for everybody there is no condition at all like that so click on save and then click on deploy save and deploy so we are now going to save and deploy <coughs> save it and then click on deploy so once it is deployed now we can very well again or uh, i want to have a look at it now you we'll know go back to the our small and then give it back and then again click on the trigger the manage approvals again and so that what happens it will be it is not the change the required i will not go back here and click on the back button and then click on again manage approvals i will not click on manage approvals then have a look at it so click on manage approvals no one have a look at it <coughs> we'll go to the next one so we have the attachment also in the bottom everything is coming back charge account is also coming on employees expense account actually <coughs> and then here it will not show me who has to approve <clears throat> so it must be or as application developer actually so it is not coming as application developer here fine click on submit now fine. that means it has been sent since the system now fine 204130 is the requisition number now go there i don't know i don't know open up and then go there click on and now put a note pad uh, 204 <laughs> one three zero is a pr number yeah number so now once when it is approved fine it's not giving a pending approval if you click on the hyperlink of it and click on it it will not show that it is it will be approved now fine right? <clears throat> so it's not done fine right? so click on back again now click on back again and then click on the requisition number it will go to the next screen in the next screen you can have a wait fine it's now still pending approval fine click on the hyperlink of it now again oh it's not at developer actually So we had to wait for some time. So we'll again click on the pending approval. We'll now see whether it's now completed or not. Click on the pending approval. It has to show this what approved. Now we can see the application developer has approved and the workflow system has also got completed now. So it's not done. So click on done. So now the it knows the status will not change to approved now. It will. So if you click on done and then come out of it, it will not show the status as approved. And then we have attachment also here. Fine, we are not done. So now the buyer will not take it up for processing. Fine, you are not going to convert it into a PO. Actually, you will not find one I icon coming up over here. Fine. <clears throat> so it is a touchless bank. You cannot see the buyer is not taken up for processing. So the buyer specified in the item, or the buyer specified in the buyer assignment rules, or otherwise on the configure procurement business function. Fine, there it must be buyer. So it will not pick up the uh, item as the top priority. And the next is what I, uh, if it is not there, it will not pick up from the buyer assignments, or otherwise it will not take from the least priority of configure procurement business function. So the line is being processed by the buyer. That's what I'm saying. So after some time, once the buyer is now converted to this, the order number will be coming again. You're going to find out the order number. So we have to wait for it. Or otherwise, what you can do is you can go to order number this area, and then I will now click on the what's called the purchase order something. I will now click on the what's called click on the star icon, and then I go to the PO. You go to the favorites now. Go to the favorites. Oh, I'm not adding any favorites at all for this one. So click on this. I will now go to the procurement. So go to the home icon. I go to the procurement, and then I go to the purchase orders. I go to the purchase orders. Let me query on the requisition number. So go to the purchase orders. I will not go to the manage orders. So this is called touchless buying, where the thing is already negotiated by the requester himself. Go to the manage orders. So the smart form has been used as a touchless buying. I will not put the requisition number over here. Now go there and then have a look at it. So you want to? So I will not take a copy of this one. <clears throat> Take copy. Now go there and then query on the requisition number. I will click on it. Fine. I will not. So Calvin Roth is a buyer. So you remove this buyer. Fine. In the in the main one on the configure procurement business function, the buyer was Calvin Roth. So you remove the buyer and then make a search. It will not come. So click on search. Fine. Okay. Now go to come on. Click on it. <clears throat> so it's still not coming. Fine. So it's not taking some time. And ah, oh, yes, it's coming. So it's got pending approval. So it has now created it. 
and then it is now pending approval okay. so once when it is approved it will now become approved and then it will now reflect on the requester's login also right. if you go to the requester's login here what happens if you click on it the po number will be coming as soon as it gets approved right. the, the order number will be coming as soon as it gets approved. so till then what happens it is now still only in ie account now right. click on that one. now wait for it and then here we will now go on and see this one so i'll now make again a search now thank you search thank you search and then i i think it is automatic only fine <clears throat> it's pending approval so uh, on the other day we have seen that it was automatic and then if it is uh, not there we have to see but to whom it has been sent to now thank you the pending approval <clears throat> it must have sent to somebody otherwise oh god it has now made so much of a, what happens a mistake they made so anyhow what happens all of them are only application developers actually fine. people have made enabled in so many areas so many what happens is your uh, this thing, stage participant combination. But fortunately, they made everything only as application developer. So all of them are tick, tick, tick. It's coming fine. Overflow the system is also completed. So it would have got approved. Okay. So this is wrong. Fine. Do only one stage and then one participant you experiment it. The other ones you follow as per my my what happens the philosophy now. So you made it. So one parallel is coming, one serial is one simple thing is coming, and then afterwards is not coming. So two stages they have used actually. Fine. Click on the now fine. That is not correct. Fine. Click on the now. And then go there. Now what happens? It would have got complete. Fine. It's not going to so click on search again, it will be open. So once when it is open, you can now see the PO number coming up on the SSP requester's login also. Fine, it is open actually. You will now go to the SSP requester's login. Fine, go to And then if you click on this, what happens? You can now see the order number coming up also. So order number is also. So you can even click on the order number and then have a look at it. Fine, SSP requester can click on the order number and then have a look at it. But what exactly has been given to him now? SSP requester is now clicking on the order. He will not be able to open it up and then see. So this is a touchless buying on the smart form actually. So whenever you are making a service purchase, you can only receive and then correct, but we cannot return at all. So you can now see the attachment. Fine. If you click on the attachment, it will not show you the attachment. So click on it. It will not show you the attachment actually. <clears throat> so the, the test office is there. Fine. And then afterwards, what happens? The two supplier is uh, okay. the details of the this thing. Fine. The, uh, we are now attached. Uh, what happens? Uh, the name and then the city, fine. the name is Nayantara. And then if you click on it, you can now see the names. Fine. So all those things is not downloading it, fine. Click on the text file, fine. it will not show. This is the name. So if he's going to print a visiting card, you will now use this name as well as the city. And then afterwards, what happens? You now print it actually. So that's coming. So it is coming. There is a second attachment. And then we have attached one more text to the supplier, fine. That is also coming. So everything is there. Now his job is to what? Receive it actually. So he has done it actually. Fine. So click on done and then come out of it. Fine. It is ordered, but not yet received actually. Fine. This is basically what a, a inbuilt intelligence being uh, interact, uh, in, enabled on the stuff. Click on that. And then we can even see the life cycle. Now, fine. If you click on the life, line life cycle, you can now see how much has been done on this. So go that point. So line life cycle is coming. Fine. The line level, the requester is now seeing the line life cycle of uh, the particular PR. Fine. The PR, the demand point of it. Fine. Go that. So what, what are the order, what are the shipments, what are the receipts, what are the invoices, what are the payment, everything you can very well see on this. So this much is not shown over here, fine. So click on the now. <clears throat> now, uh, he is now going to make a receipt now, fine. He's now going to make a self-service receipt. So everything is coming, fine, click on the now. So what he will do is he will now go there, click on the home icon again, and click on the home icon again. And then he will now go to the procurement, and then he will now go to the my receipts now, fine. This is the SSP receipt now, fine, click on it. And then he will now query again on the requisition number. Now go there. Requisition number, he is going to put it on, click on the number. And then go there. I will not make it as any time. I will not make it as any time. And then make a search. No, fine. Click on search. You are going to search for it. So once when you search for it, you will not find the 204-130 will be available. And remember, the receipt routing must be direct. Fine. If it is going to be standard and inspection, it will not work at all. So go there. I am not going to make a receipt. No, fine. Click on it. You will not receive it. Click on it. So click on receipt. He is not going to make a receipt. So he is now making a SSP receipt now. through self service. And the quantity is okay. Fine. It comes as a quantity actually. Fine. The amount will be coming as a quantity actually. And click on submit. 1, 2, 3, 4 is there. And click on submit. So by which the result is now made. <clears throat> you know, making it. Now you can make a correction to the result. Fine. You can make a correction. So once when you count it, what happens? It's not exactly the same. Fine. Click on it. So the correction I'm going to make. I'm not going to make a correction. So, <clears throat> so one, two, three, four is not there. One, two, two, four is only there. So that correction I can do. So the GRM number gets created upon what happens here. He is sitting in his house and then he is doing it now. Fine. So whatever it is. So the requester can even ask for a, what happens, a service. To be performed with a supplier actually. So once you do it, what happens? The GR number gets created. Fine. Eight thousand five is the GR number. Fine. Eight thousand five is the amount. Fine. So now he wants to make a correction. Fine. Click on the task list on this, and then go to the manager results, and then he is now going to perform a correction. 
So 8,005. Afterwards, once the, the uh, receipt is made, the successive things must be, what happens, queried on the GR number. Even though the requisition purchase order numbers are there, it is a customary practice to query on the GR number. Thank you for searching. So we are going to make a search now. Thank you for searching. We are searching for it. It will be coming away now. Fine. So go there. I am not going to correct it. I am not going to correct it. It is not 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 1, 2, 2, 4. 1, 2, 2, 4. 1, 2, 2, 4. Fine. Click on subject. So the correction is no made. So the correction transaction was created. Thank you. Now, what happens? 1, 2, 2, 4 is no made. Fine. If you go and then query again on the requisition number. Fine. Now, 10 more is now expected. Thank you, Consulch. It will now say 10 more is expected from Malay because we are now corrected it actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 4. Fine. We are now expecting 10 more now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Click on receive now. Fine. Click on receive. So go there. It will now say 10 more is expected. We will now try to perform a uh, what happens the return now. Fine. Click on cancel. <clears throat> I'm not going to perform what happens the return now. Fine. It is a service purchase. Fine. We will now see about how the system is uh, behaving on the returns now. Fine. So go to the manager. Oops. And then here what happens? I will now query on the 8005. 8,005 is the one point. I will now select it and then click on returns. So I want to return that is 20, 20 quantities I want to return. Click on return. So I want to return it. So when I return it, you cannot return a fixed price services purchase order. It is like what? Uh, it is a description based services. Let us say I have now ordered for a Jailalitha dance for one hour now. And then uh, I found that uh, she is not removed many clothes and then I am not satisfied with that. So what happens? I want to return something. Fine. That is not possible. You have already enjoyed. Fine. So the services you already enjoyed. So for a service purchase, returns are not possible. Only for a physical item, we can very well review. So that way, what happens? It works. Fine. Returns are not possible. That's it. Okay. So this completes yeah, what's called a yeah, smart form to PO with a negotiated tick mark. And then we seen a touchless buying also coming upon us. So, so now I'll now go there, click on it. <clears throat> go to this place. And then I go to what? Procurement. And then I go to the purchase requisition. Yesterday, the Amazon was giving a problem. We will not see whether it works today or not. I will not go to the shop by category. Fine. We will not again go to the Amazon. In the Amazon, I have not shown you one thing on this now. Fine. In this place, I don't go there. If you go to this place, I will now go to the what? Catalogs. Now. Fine. Uh, not this one. Fine. Click on home now. Oh, I go to the procurement and then I go to the catalog. Now. Fine. Go to the catalog. I will now open up the catalogs and go to the place. I will now have a look at the catalog. Right? Manage catalogs. I will now open up the Amazon catalog. Right? Amazon catalog. I'm going to open up. So here, this is all configured. And then we have one test connection is also there. They're not shown. So if you click on the test connection, it will now try to establish a connection to the Amazon. Actually. And then when everything is set properly, your connection to the punch out was site was established. That means what? Everything is okay. So you can go ahead and then shop on this. There's a confirmation. Thank you. So go to this place. And then here, what happens? You go there. Click on. I will now uh, go on the shop on the Amazon. Thank you. I will not go there. I will not click on Amazon. Once when you click on it, the Amazon's website is now going to open up. You know, shopping on this fine. There's a punch out catalog. Fine. You know, see. So in the top, what happens? You know, coming, coming, coming. So what happens? You know, saying what happens? It's not asking for the password actually. So uh, it is the info on email, and then the password is what I have not tried to give my whatever this password now. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, my login password. I'm going to give it now. Fine. I don't think it's a login password, so it is not accepting it. Fine. Click on sign now. Fine. So click on sign it. So it is not a login password, I think. It is not accepting it. There is a problem. Your password is incorrect. I will now click on the forgot your password. Fine. Click on the forgot password. Go there, click on it. So this is the mail ID. Fine. Click on continue. Click on continue. Mm -hmm. and go there. So a OTP has been sent now. Fine. Go there. I will now go to my login of Infarana. Go to the place. <coughs> so go to this place. Amazon's uh, password assistance is coming from there. So 781536 is the one. Fine. Go there, click on it. 781536. I will not put it in. So go there. 781536. So click on continue. So once when I come on, it is not going to verify it. So now it says there is a problem. Sorry, you have made too many failed attempts now because of it is not coming. Whereas I have attached a previous record. So that was not asking you all this. It was in the previous class, it was not asking. Now they have what they have done like this. So there is no other go. Get more help by restoring access to your account. Fine. Click on it. Get more help. Um, get more help. I think it's coming. So we had to call them. <laughs> American number has been given. So it's not possible actually. Right. Click on the so, so Amazon is not working. Fine. So this is all about what I mean, the self service procurement. Fine. Even the smart form purchase is also done. So uh, if you have what happens, I mean, a big one, fine. if you have a big catalog category hierarchy, so that becomes a cat admin is the biggest job. Creating the catalog category is the biggest job. 
and then attaching the images in the appropriate places is very very important because it is all totally image based because the ssp requesters will be looking at the image rather than the description and then long description item number is uh, almost not visible at all fine descriptions and long descriptions are the one which will be displayed for the ssp requesters to shop now so and then apart from that the image is also very very important so they will not look at the image and then they will not shop on this so we had a configure it fine so that so I hope that uh, uh, I completed. And then if you still have any doubts, whatever you can write to me at uh, nana.app60 at gmail.com. Uh, or otherwise, you can even uh, contact me on my WhatsApp number 9848-67924 for any assistance. For me. So with this, we complete the SSP. And then uh, uh, in the coming week, uh, we are going to begin the sourcing. Right? <clears throat> the sourcing we are going to begin. Bye for now.